All right, guys, so bizarre. So I decided to make a video on how to make your videos look better. But first, let me just take some of these presets off. I, I wanted to try a little bit. But um, I'm going to show you guys. So you guys can see that this clip looks really dull. It's from a sniping game I got. Um, I forgot this map. Uh, what's this map it's called? But um, this is from the sniping game I got. And this guy can see that it looks really dull. This is how every Call of Duty video looks on YouTube, basically. And it's annoying. I don't like it. Uh, so first, let me show you guys how to use color correction. So um, first of all, if you don't have any presets, Saved already. You want to go drag this reset to none right there, and you want to click this right here where it says this first one. You don't want to use any of these. It changes way too much. But um, so let me just go to where it's an open space, like right here. So what I'm gonna do is click this, and I want it to be like uh, the sky kind of, and I want this one to be let's say the ground. I want this one to be let's say um, this green over here. Um, so that is color correction. So I'm about to take it off. I'm show you guys how I look uh, before or after before after before after before but um you guys see that the, it doesn't change too much but you definitely can tell it changes next thing is hsl adjust or whatever it's called i know it's called hsl what i do is i just drag the saturation luminance and boost onto this uh video right there and it makes it look 10 times uh as good it makes it look really really brighter and um in the call of duty video you won't definitely want your stuff to stand out so uh, i definitely like a lot of that or well, I definitely just drag that on there and makes it look better. But um, that's just my personal preference. And next thing I'm gonna show you guys is color curves. So I have this preset of mine called Model Fit 2. Um, so I'm definitely I'm I did, this is all I use. I don't use any like I just made this. Let's see let's see how this one look. Oh, uh, that's way too bright. Uh, so I I'm not using that one. But I have this one called Model Fit 2, and this makes it's kind of dark, and it makes the clip look really nice. So let me show you guys without the color curves. Um, this is without. And that's what. So look at that. Makes it look really, really nicer. Like the, especially the sky back there and the trees. Let me show you. Without, with, without, with, without, with. But um, I can see that I'm gonna just leave this on. Or you guys can follow this. You guys can copy these settings, um, if you want to. But you can definitely make these your own. Only thing you have to do is just drag this slider over. Like you see, I'm making it brighter, and um, that looks too bright. Um, I like this setting right about here. And I want to drag, you can drag this to be darker, or that's too dark, or you can drag it to be lighter, and that's too light. So I like it like right about uh, here, or right there. And um, that's basically uh, all I want to show you guys, but I'm, I got some other things. So you guys can see that that looks really good now. What I'm actually about to do is I'm about to do, uh, show you guys how I look. Like, let me just go to a good scenery part, like, uh, go to about right here um you guys can see that you see the grass clear oh one more thing one more thing sharpen sharpen i'm show you guys how to use sharpen um you guys can see that it's all kind of blurry but you can dra dra drag a light sharpen on there and it gives everything a nice little um nice little it makes everything just pop a little more um it makes everything just a little bit more uh say springy i don't know i just probably made that up but i'm gonna take it off and you guys can see that the, it's blurry but it takes a lot of blur out when you put on sharpen so i love using that too but um i have a lot of stuff you definitely try a lot of these things like uh but that's basically it uh let me see that's basically all i use but next thing i'm gonna show you guys are my render settings and render settings are very important on how to how to make good Call of Duty videos because if you have sh uh, really bad render settings, your videos aren't going to be good anyways. So uh, first of all, you want to click on this video, uh, on this little thing that says uh, Project Video Properties, and you want to make sure it's 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. That's full 1080p. But um, I don't I don't um, do it in 1080p just for uh, video size and render time. So um. So you want to just change this right here. You want to make sure your full resolution rendering quality is on best. And you just leave this the same. Uh, and make sure, or if, if you want all your videos to start with this, make sure you check that and put apply. And you can just leave all these all these like this. And this really doesn't matter. The audio stays the same. And all this stays the same right here. Um, so just click uh, apply. And press OK. And then next, you're going to go to project um, and render as. But uh, if you use movie studio, you can just uh, do make movie. But um, if you use just most people use just Sony Vegas, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use Sony Vegas. I'm gonna show you guys how to use a uh, uh, make movie the make movie feature. So here's my render setting. So you come down here, you go to customize template. I have my template under in the MP4 uh, setting, and you go to DOS. That's my template name. And here's our my my settings right here. 
so I have include video check if you don't have include video check you won't have any any video just audio and once you're with and your height to be 1280 by 720 that's HD um, but to be honest if you don't capture HD like you've captured with a with a, um, a Roxio like the the regular Roxio I have a Roxio HD Pro um, you could try something out like 800 by uh, let's say I think it's like 800 by 480 or something like that and that makes it look uh, they cut down on render size and since you don't have uh, HD quality uh, it makes it, it just makes it better because you don't have to stretch any frames and stuff like that. But the frame rate, this is definitely definitely uh, uh, something controversial. I just said butcher that word, but um, I use 29.970, but a lot of people like to use 59.970 or 59.94 for just because uh, Call of Duty is mo mostly running 60 frames per second. But um, no, I don't see the reason of running that unless you're using like some doing some super crazy editing. So if you want to cut down on render render uh, time, make sure you use 29.970. But um, the bit rate matters a lot. I use a uh, 10 million bit bit rate, or you can definitely go up or lower the bit rate. But I want to I want to go lower than uh, 8 million bit rate, just case just for the quality. But audio, um, you want to leave that leave this exactly the same. But project, you might want to make sure this is best. Uh, so press OK, then um, hit, that's it. But I'm not gonna render it. So next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to act. So if you're using Movie Studio, how to do it. So what you do is you have all these set over here, upload straight to YouTube. Um, you have your your password, which I'm about to blur out right now. So I'm about to type in my password, and you you get to put in a title, all that type of stuff. And one other thing, guys, uh, the render. So if you do use Movie Studio, I just typed in a random password. That's not my password. <laughs> but um, if you do use a, a um, if you do use Movie Studio, you have this option to uh, to to uh, render quality normal. Render quality. This is not HD right here. So you're seeing that this uh, let's say 10 minute or so video is only 171 megabytes. That means that this quality is like 240p at least. But when we put on higher, oh crap! But when we put on higher, it gets 655 megabytes. Um, if you use this this setting right here, your quality is gonna be uh, HD, and that's simple as it goes. But um, and that's that's basically how how you how I make my my YouTube videos, how I make them look so good. Like I know my previous videos haven't been better, but this is a video that's gonna actually go out. Hopefully, I'll be able to, be able to edit it or, or um, commentate it tonight. But um, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This is uh the video. Um, but I, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that little exit right there. But you guys can see that um this this clip looks pretty nice or this video track looked pretty nice and um. Like if you guys don't like this setting, definitely change it up a lot, cause no one wants to see a bland Call of Duty video. I know I don't. So let me just take off some of the color correction, do a before and after for the last time. So take the color correction off, and it looks red, um, because it's HSL just as old. But it looks HSL just uh, makes it look makes it pop. But when you add the color correction, it makes it just beautiful. Um, so you can add some color curves, but I I added that second color curve, so you can take that off and it makes it bland kind of so I definitely had a cover curve and this is without the sharpen this is with the sharpen um, and that's basically it guys so hope you guys enjoyed the video want any more tutorials like this definitely leave me a comment asking me uh, whatever you want me to leave I'm good at making thumbnails I made all that stuff so if you guys want a tutorial about that definitely leave one in the description or in the comment section I'll be sure to to, to make those tutorials well, I'll see you guys later peace